What's up guys, for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys every single meal I have throughout my whole day. I really think this video is going to help you out just because a lot of you college students out there kind of wonder what you have to eat like or how you can eat affordable and technically guys I eat like the same every single day. Um, it's not that I think about it all the time, it's just that that's how I like to keep my diet and it just keeps things simple and also affordable and I'm not a picky eater guys, I just pretty much eat whatever um, gets me to my goals quicker. So. Pretty much going to start my breakfast and I'm going to go ahead and cook that up and I'll show you guys what it is. Also I'll be showing you guys my blood sugar, you know, talking a little bit more about that, giving you guys more advice for uh, whoever's a type 1 diabetic out there. All right, less than 10 minutes later, we got meal number one. So what I have here is just four whole eggs and two gluten-free waffles. Now, I'll talk about these in just a second, but if you're wondering um, if I have egg whites at all, I do have egg whites, but lately I haven't been. I've been just having uh, whole eggs just because I've noticed, at least in my diet, um, I, I usually don't eat a lot of high-fat foods, and I will end up like having... A lot less fats than I'd normally like to have throughout my whole day. So early in the morning, or not really early in the morning, it's 8.30 right now by the way, I have class in an hour, but um, usually I just like having a good, a, a high fat meal uh, during the morning, So or at least for my first meal. So if you guys look at this meal right now, these two waffles have 8 grams of fat, and those eggs obviously have, what is it, four eggs? So it's like 20 grams of fat, five grams per egg. So there's around 28 grams of fat. And these two waffles only have together 33 grams of carbs. So it's really a pretty kind of like a low carb meal, guys. Only like 30 grams of carbs and it's the same amount of fat. So kind of like how I like to roll in the morning normally. Plus, I don't have to take too much insulin, which is always a plus. And... Also, I have these vitamin C packets and a multivitamin. I've been having this every morning, by the way. And if you're a diabetic and you do want to start taking these, um, just a side note, they do have carbs. They have 8 grams of carbs and 6 come from sugar, if you can see right there. So just keep that in mind. You know, you might have to adjust your insulin for that. Anyways, going to go ahead and eat these. And let me go ahead and show you guys um, these gluten-free waffles, actually. I'll actually go to the fridge right, or freezer right now. I'll show you guys them. But here's how they look like. Hold on. Right over here, I don't know, the brand is just called Simple Truth, but they're gluten free. And here are the macros on them for two waffles, 220 calories, 8 grams of fat, 37 grams of carbs. So, not too bad, guys. And also, the, the huge thing that really made me want to buy these first of all, they taste amazing, they really do taste like regular waffles and they are only like two and a half bucks and it comes with eight waffles pretty decent sized waffles like you guys saw on my meal and usually the thing about gluten free items guys is they're usually very very expensive so two and a half bucks for a, a box of gluten free waffles which is really convenient is amazing usually that's like they're you know, five bucks like one of them but pretty much one of my um one of my finds in the grocery store, I want to show you guys if you have celiac disease, which I'm sure like 99% of you guys don't, but you never know, there's a lot of diabetics that watch my channel and people with type 1 diabetes usually do tend to be more prone to uh, celiac disease, so always keep that in mind. Anyways guys, going to go ahead and eat this meal up and I'll catch you guys for meal number two. So it's been a few hours, it's 1 o'clock right now, I just finished up making my second meal of the day, which is going to be my pre-workout meal, I plan on working out like an hour and a half after eating all this, but let me go ahead and show you guys what it is, it's just some chicken breasts, and um, two cups of white rice, what the, what the rice is, you guys have seen this already before guys, I've shown you plenty of times, but it's literally just the microwavable rice, you put the bag with water, for 10 minutes in a microwave and then it makes two cups of rice. It's really, really convenient, really, really cheap. Um, and I, I honestly, I think one of you guys might have asked why I don't use the 90 second rice, which is a lot quicker and more convenient, but I don't use that just because it is a lot more expensive. Honestly, this is already convenient enough, guys. 
you don't really need rice cooked in like a minute in a microwave. I'm, I'm already cooking up the chicken, so I might as well just put the rice in 10 minutes anyway, which literally is the same amount of time it takes to cook this chicken up, like 15 minutes. So it's really quick, and it's a lot cheaper than the minute ready rice. So also we just have like 12, maybe 14 ounces of chicken breast. I'm not too sure. I don't really like weigh any of this out, but um, quite, a, quite a lot of chicken, probably like 50, 60 grams of protein. And then I have salsa and sriracha on top. Literally the best thing to put on chicken and rice. But anyways, I'm going to eat this up. Pretty much maybe like watch a YouTube video or two while I eat this and then do some homework. And then I'll be hitting the gym. But anyways... Um, you want to make sure, guys, if you're a diabetic, I feel like a lot of the times um, pre-workout is when you mess up with your blood sugars and at least with your insulin intake. If you know you're going to be working out in like an hour, be sure to like adjust your insulin for that. Don't be taking too much. Maybe take a unit or two less. Know your body. Know what you need. And especially if you're the type of person who gets low a lot, and if, especially if you're doing a lot of intense training, like high-intensity training, say you're playing a sport or something, uh, be sure you're not taking the normal amount of insulin you would take for a meal. Anyways, that's pretty much all I had to say. I'm gonna take I'm gonna go ahead and eat this up and I'll show you guys what my third meal of the day, which is gonna be my post workout meal. Okay, so it's five thirty right now and I already plan on hitting the gym around like three, as I told you guys in the last clip. But that didn't end up being my pre workout meal just because I had a lot of work to do and it took a lot longer than expected. I thought I had like forty five minutes of homework, but it took three hours. I had to like write an essay, do some work on Excel. Yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. Not really, but I have class at 6, so it's 5.30. I have 30 minutes. I just made this meal. I got to eat it up, and let me tell you guys, this is not going to be very surprising. It's not going to be – it's going to be very boring because guess what? It's the exact same thing as my last meal. It's literally just chicken, rice, but I added mixed veggies just because I need some more vegetables in my diet. Honestly, you're going to notice – I'm going to try to have like two pieces of fruit or something later, but – you're going to notice I don't get too many fruits and vegetables. It's just kind of hard as a college student, but I'm trying to get as much as I can. That's why I take like a multivitamin and all that. I might have to like try to shop for like um, a supplement for like fruits and vegetable servings. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm not really too worried about that though because I do eat pretty healthy. But anyways, that's pretty much what it is. It's literally just cooked chicken, mixed veggies, and the, the rice. But that's really it, guys. I'm a simple guy. Like I said, I keep things simple. I'm not a picky eater. I don't mind making easy things that taste good, still really taste good, and get me to where I want to be. You know what I mean? I don't need to have something fancy. Plus, you're a college student. If you are, you know how it is. You can't be chefing up meals that take an hour every single meal, especially if you're eating like five times a day. Anyways, guys, going to go ahead and eat this up, and I will catch you before my workout. So I just got back from the gym, and it's 10.30 p.m. Um, pretty late meal. This is going to be my last meal of the day, by the way. So it's been four meals the entire day. Kind of how I, what I've been doing lately. Pretty much just really big meals. Just four of them. And I'm trying to or aim around probably like 3,500 calories. Let me go and show you guys what it is. It's a lot of food. But what it is is just a bunch of... By the way, sorry if I'm talking real late. My roommates are sleeping. I don't want to wake them up. But a bunch of black beans, mixed vegetables. And then we have around like six ounces of the um, steak. What it is is just like tips or loin steak. So pretty low in fat. And cook that up all, all up in a pan. Put um, I also put three eggs in there. So crack three eggs. Put some salsa. And actually makes for a really good meal, guys. You should probably try it out. But that's what I got. I got all that food. Probably around like maybe like 
25, 30 grams of fat. I'd say probably 25 grams of fat. And probably around like 50 grams of carbs, maybe 60 grams of carbs, and a lot of protein. Definitely around like 40, 50 grams of protein. And then I have a banana over here. <laughs> oh my god, alright, I I just can't get over this. Look at this banana. There's two bananas in one. <laughs> I, I just can't take that seriously. Two bananas in one. Definitely the freaking biggest a banana on steroids. I've never seen a banana that big in my freaking life. And then we have milk. I was supposed to put cereal in this, but I totally forgot. So, have milk over here. Let me go ahead and show you guys my little thing of snacks over here. But I'm going to put maybe like a serving of Cheerios. And that's only like a, qu a quarter of a cup of milk, by the way. So, in total, it's going to be like probably like 30 grams of carbs. So, pretty big meal over here, guys. Anyways, I really hope this... This um, opened up your mind with like idea meal ideas and showed you how simple really my diet is. Um, just really have a calorie goal in my head and try to get that, even with simple meals. I really don't care. Honestly, this all tasted great and it's getting me where I want to be in the future. So, hope that helps. All affordable, all great meals for college students like you guys. Please, if you enjoyed it, drop the video a like, comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Radio,